such a beautiful lady right now. I am way too frazzled. Tell me, did I ever think running a dating service was going to be easy? No, you were never that deluded. Welcome home. Come on up here and relax. Let all that stuff go. Have a seat. Chill. Great to have you here. <laughs> I took the apron. Well, I got home early. I had a little extra time. I got inspired by making a wonderful cassoulet for our dinner. A cassoulet? Yes. Oh, my God. That's like my second favorite. Only your second? Well, second to moussaka. Ah, moussaka. Again, a killer dish. <sighs> so, I'm dying to hear about this idea you have for my mother. When are you going to tell me? Oh, oh, I'll definitely tell you. But let's just relax here for a little bit, huh? Oh, good. I'm interested in hearing what made you so frazzled today. And I'll tell you what. How about if I get you some Cabernet? Great. How would that be? Great. Hang on. Oh. Here we go. I'll tell you what. You always do a better job oh, of this. Oh, I'll do than it. Do. I'll can do you, it. Can you handle this? Someday you'll learn this. I don't know. I always enjoy watching you do it. You're such a master. I think you just do that to get out of it. So, I had this young woman. Let's call her Claire. She's horribly disappointed because I've only gotten her two guys for my deal profile. You think two would be enough to get started? Yeah, of course. Especially for usual men and women. Not her. They're usually very happy with two. Anyway, she expected to have more men who are aged 28 to 30 with a beard and blue eyes, a computer programmer like her, an electrical engineer with buff bodies and hang gliders. Now, isn't that too extreme? Yeah, but extreme seems to be the trend these days, let's face it. I had two very strange clients today myself. Oh, you mean like the electric nail biter you had? <laughs> no, not exactly, but believe me, just as weird. The first person, a guy, he comes into my office to demonstrate, get this, demonstrate an automatic laundry folder. Let me show you this. Hang on. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Go ahead. Wait, I'm loving this idea. Get us two. Two. Okay, I'll put in the order. <laughs> so this dude... Dressed in a Brooks Brothers suit. I mean, very sharp, right? He demonstrates how it's going to work. Mind you, he has no science. He has no sketches. No motors. He just brings in a napkin and this little machine, and he does it. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I wish he wasn't so weird. Don't forget, I still want to. Okay. So what was the second one about? Oh, yeah. The second one. It was a woman, I'd say mid-60s or so. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Pauline, I think. Really? Well, I just wish my mom was put together enough to try to invent something. So the client wants to market a pretty sophisticated watermelon sweetness gauge. And that works? Apparently so. I have one in the kitchen. I'll bring it out and show you. Oh, go get it. Check. 
this out. Nice watermelon, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. So the growing end here. We put the sensors right next to it. And push. And look at that. 89%. Oh, my God. Yeah, that amazing, woman isn't isn't weird at all. I think we should invest in this one. Uh, I think she's got a pretty good product. Yeah. It's expensive. I like it. Except she doesn't realize that the patent search itself is going to take at least a year. Plus, you have product development, marketing, uh, production, packaging, distribution. It's going to take at least two years before it's on the market. And i got to say, I don't think she understands that at all. You know, this wine's really good. I'm getting a little buzz here. I don't know what to do. Listen, this is what I recommend you do. I'm open. I'm open. I'm okay. Open. First of all, you tell the first one, then he has to go elsewhere. That's first. Okay. Okay? I know, I know how kind you are. And I know that you will be respectful. It can be that way. Okay. That's first. The second thing. This watermelon lady, the gadget she's created, it's a whole different situation. You have to treat her completely differently. You have to explain to her that you understand that she's a very proud person who simply just does not understand business, patenting, marketing, etc. All the stuff that you're a pro in. Just let her know that. Then... Don't promise her anything that you cannot deliver, okay? But you already know that. I'm just, I appreciate you listening to me. So, show her, just like we do in a dating service, in every way that you're on her side. And eventually, I guarantee, she's going to come around. You wait and see. How's that sound? Sounds like someone who knows just a bit about human nature. Well, I should know in my business, I right? I hope so. <laughs> you know what, honey? The human nature part of me right now is telling me I'm really hungry. So let's get some of that scrumptious cassoulet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's... I'm ready. I'm All right, hungry. I'm ready. Let's go. I know. I the aroma in the kitchen is killing me. It's incredible. Go, go, go.